Hi, my name's Kurt Kabert. Today I'm here to show you uh, IMT's new command control systems. So the first thing that I'd like to share uh, in regards to the new command control system is uh, the multi-cab switch, uh, which allows us to access three different modes, which is uh, search mode, reverse mode, and work mode. So search mode would be uh, you're pulling onto the job site and you're trying to find the piece of equipment that you're, you're looking for. So that would be key on, no park brake, um, push the multi-cab switch, and then that would turn on a series of outside floodlights uh, to help you locate the vehicle or a piece of equipment that you're here to work on. Uh, next function would be what we call reverse mode. So this would be now that you found the piece of equipment that you're looking for, uh, you can key on in reverse, multi-cab switch, and then that'll turn on a series of rear floodlights to allow you for better lighting to back up to your piece of equipment. You can also program them as no floodlights, so then that way when you're backing into your residential driveway, uh, you're not lighting up the whole neighborhood. Uh, last mode is what we call work mode. Uh, so this would be key on, park brake set, multi-cab switch activated, and then that would turn on a series of whatever lights that you would like to have pre-on uh, pre prior to exiting the, the vehicle, such as right and left uh, compartment lights, maybe rear floodlights, left floodlights, whatever options that you'd want to choose, uh, you, you can then have access to turn on. The new IMT command control system is the only system out on the market that can do everything from the remote as inside of the control compartment. We can operate the crane, we can run the stabilizers, and we can turn compartment and floodlights on and off as needed. On the remote control, we have what's called two hard toggle switches, meaning these toggle switches will only do what the pictures on the remote show as far as compressor on off, speed control, horn, this is how you flip through your pages on the remote control, and then this is of course to turn the remote control on and off. The four to soft toggle switches are going to be whatever uh, page we are on uh, as far as compartment lights, flood lights, uh, crane, crane lights, stabilizers up, down, in and out, um, engine start, stop, auxiliary one, two, PTO, and then of course all of your crane functions. Also new to the new command control system is LMI. So that is going to be your boom angle, truck tilt, horizontal out, and of course weight that you're picking up. One of the big changes that we've made to the remote control uh, is we have removed the batteries from the rear of the remote and moved them into the handle, which this gives a much more balanced approach to the handle. Uh, we've also changed the distance between the toggle switches to the trigger. This allows a much better grip on the remote control to be able to use with one hand. Uh, we've also changed the location of the tether cable terminal port from the bottom to the top for functionality reasons. Located in the right rear crane compartment is where the new command control uh, master control panel is located. So just like the remote control, we can utilize all functions of the body as far as compartment lights, stabilizers, PTO, air compressor, engine start, engine stop, everything is now also available here. Um, first screen is gonna be lights. Here we can go in and turn on uh, any such lights that we uh, desire uh, as far as your uh, compartment lights, uh, front, rear, left, right flood lights and boom tip lights. Next screen is stabilizers. Here we have the ability to deploy uh, all of our stabilizers as far as uh, uh, up, down, in and out, 
all done by the arrows such as suggested on the screen. Next is crane. We now have the ability to turn PTO on and off, boom tip lights on and off, and most important, new to this uh, command control uh, system is we have the ability to do what's called crane recovery. So in the absence of the remote control or something happened to it, it got damaged uh, and you needed to stow your crane, you can now go into this crane recovery mode. Uh, and again, via the uh, directional arrows, we can operate the crane as far as up, down, telescope in, out winch up, down, and rotate. During this mode, uh, all flow will be reduced by 50%, which allows for a more smoother, non-jerky uh, movement. So when you're putting the crane away, it's done safely. Next is gonna be your vehicle functions. This is where we can come in uh, engage the PTO, the compressor, uh, that's a new one. Uh, in the old system, you were only able to uh, turn your compressor on and off via the remote. Uh, so if you had lost your remote or your remote, remote was damaged, uh, you were not able to turn your PTO or your compressor on. Now you can come in and activate your compressor. Uh, also the auxiliary one and two, horn, engine start and engine stop. Also new to the command control unit is going to be diagnostics. Uh, this gives you the ability to come in and actually see uh, what is the truck seeing. Uh, inputs, outputs, um, it also has crane fault codes uh, that can tell us uh, everything, what's going on, whether there's a CAN bus failure, everything's okay. This gives you the ability to quickly diagnose issues. Uh, this is also where you're going to go in and see your hours, so chassis, crane, compressor. And it also tracks overload events. Next is going to be operator settings. So this is the screen where you're going to go in and program all of those modes that I talked about earlier as far as search mode, reverse mode, work mode. You can come into truck settings and this is where you're going to um, set your exit cab. So right now we have it set up for uh, all floodlights, left and right compartment lights, no boom tip. Reverse mode, search mode, PTO activation. With the new command control systems, we've introduced what's called auto PTO. So you no longer need to engage the PTO via the cab switch. It can all be done now via the remote control. Uh, the second that you activate a hydraulic request, such as a crane or a stabilizer, if in auto PTO mode, it'll automatically engage the PTO and ramp the high idle up on the engine. Another feature added in the new command controls uh, for our auxiliary outputs, we have interlocks. So this is going to look for whether or not the e-brake is set or the PTO is activated before it'll output power. This is gonna be good for like when you're using a Miller Impact or a Van Air uh, I-300. Uh, this will look for whether or not the PTO is activated uh, and, and the PTO is on before it'll send power to those units. Next is vehicle configuration. This is where you're gonna go in as a truck upfitter and you are going to select uh, what kind of chassis it's going on, what kind of transmission it has, what kind of a PTO it has, what kind of a crane it has. 
what side of the body the crane is on, what kind of stabilizers the, the body has, and whether or not there's a compressor installed. Because this is a CAN bus system, which with each option that you select can change what outputs uh, the command control system is looking for. Next is dis display settings. This is where you can go in and change the language. Uh, right now we have English, Spanish, and France inputted into it. You can change the brightness. You can adjust the sleep timer onto which the system will go dormant. About the system, this is where you're going to go in and find the serial numbers for both the crane and body control module and the display um, and also see what revisions you have. Okay, and that's a wrap on our new IMT command control system.